For as long as any of us can remember, theater has been an active force in our society. It's unique among art forms because it calls for a live, active experience that is shared by its audience. Attending a theatrical event is unlike anything else, and that is something that should always stay sacred. Nothing else has the power to bring together large groups of people from diverse backgrounds the way that theater does. It's a force that can break down walls that society places between people. It's a place where people can come together. It's a vessel for telling all kinds of stories in unique and magical ways, and it needs to live on. I believe that there are two major benefits to theater. First is the idea of community. In many ways, I believe that theater put the unity in community. Theater brings us together in ways that are unlike anything else. All of the audience members at any given performance will be the only people on the face of this planet who ever got to see that specific production the way it was for that performance. All of those people can be unified through that experience that they take into the world with them. The second benefit, and in my opinion, the most important aspect of theater is play. We sometimes lose this aspect of theater, especially when theaters become money-hungry and begin to produce shows for the sole purpose of garnering a profit. If you put on plays for the money, you should probably find a new career. If you put on plays for the play, you should never leave the theater. I mean, they're literally called plays. If you lose the excitement, playfulness, bounciness, pep, and fun that comes from theater, then what do you have left? I mean, this by no means implies that all theater should be campy, happy-go-lucky musicals or plays with happy endings. Theater should present us with difficult themes, challenge our beliefs, and make us think. However, when all is said and done, we should have fun. Even if we're performing a depressing Shakespearean tragedy that ends in bloody deaths, we should have fun. The audience should have fun. The performers should have fun. The designers, directors, stage manager, producer, ushers, box office staff, the entire production team should have fun. Everyone should enjoy it, and your audience should leave being glad that they spent their time at the theater. I mean, they don't need to love your production, but they need to be moved, impacted, or provoked to think in some way that leaves them glad that they attended. And they need to feel like they played with you. When I look at the current state of theater today, I'm sometimes a bit saddened by the lack of community and the lack of play. The competition for jobs causes cattiness and jealousy to course through the veins of many performers. The greed of producers causes theaters to take less risks and produce shows for the sole purpose of selling out to huge crowds regardless of the true quality of the work. Audiences have become less accustomed to bold choices and less willing to appreciate risks on stage. Many people are sucking the fun out of theater. The theater should be a powerful force in this world, not solely because it gives us the opportunity to get our messages out there and make people think and reflect on the society that we live in, but also because we can do all of this while bringing people together and having a good time. At the end of the day, theater should be rooted in love. Love of art, love of the craft, and love of a good story, but not the love of money. It should be freeing and fun. Theater should never feel like work. If you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. Therefore, to all theater artists out there, I say, remember why you fell in love with theater in the first place. Hold on to that and never let anyone strip that from our theaters.